Reconsidering Physical Extraterrestrial Visitations? Even though this article was written in 2010 by Mark S. Callis, in my opinion, it is just as relevant today as it was in 2010. And even though it is not specifically indicated in the article, the author here undoubtedly is referring to physical extraterrestrial visitations. I'll make a short comment at the end. Quote, The modern UFO phenomenon began in the 1940s, yet despite decades of evidence and the fact that opinion polls such as Gallup have consistently shown that the majority of people believe that flying saucers are real, this phenomenon has yet to be seriously and systematically investigated by the academic and scientific mainstream. Why? In large part, it has to do with the hypothesis that unexplained UFO sightings represent encounters with artificial, intelligently controlled craft of non-terrestrial origin. Extraordinary evidence such as an alien body or an intact craft has yet to be made publicly available. Many claim that such evidence is indispensable to justify any serious investigation at all into this issue, as claims that Earth has been visited by a non-terrestrial intelligence are inherently extraordinary. But while perhaps intuitively correct, this notion crumbles in the face of logical reasoning and facts. Naturally, this begs the question, if the presence of extraterrestrials on Earth is not an inherently extraordinary claim, then what is? Please continue to read this interesting article. And here's my comment that I put in. It is my belief that not everything existing in this cosmos may be physical. I believe that there are some things or entities that are paraphysical. Here is my favorite quote from Nikola Tesla. He said, The day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. This is Norio Hakawa, Rio Rancho, New Mexico, USA.